Well, good morning and welcome to another exciting fishing adventure. Here's the hook bait for today. Yummy, yummy is what the label says, so they must be yummy. Uh, fruit snacks, little gummy, gummy candies. Looks like we've got uh, a few different colors. We got one, in this package I only got one red. And one, two, three, four purples and three greens. I already got an open package here. Let's see what's in here. There's a few more reds and orange in there. Okay. So anyway, these are pretty fragrant. These are a good two feet away from my face and I can smell them. And I'm sure a fish will love to eat it. Let's try it. They're pretty good size. I think I'm just going to put one on the uh, on the hair rig. Yep, that is a pretty good right there. That uh, goes good with the size of my hook that I'm using here. We'll see how this goes. I don't know. I usually like to use tiger nuts at this lake because there's lots of nuisance fish. These aren't uh, very rugged, so if they start getting stolen by nuisance fish. We'll go start using tiger nuts. We'll do three different colors. First one was purple. Second one was green. This one's red. And my wife and son like to eat these things, but uh, this this was a a, a brand that uh, they bought that they didn't like. So I've got like a whole box of these, probably like 20 packs of these things that nobody's gonna eat. So I thought, uh, yeah, feed it to the fish. This pack bait that I'm using today has been in the fridge for about a week and it's oats and sweet feed and then those the little colorful bits are um, Fruit Loops Fruit Loops cereal and uh, I don't remember I think fruit cocktail was probably the liquid so it, it was it was a sweet 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 pack bait but now it's been sitting in the fridge for a week and it smells sour yeah it's got a pretty sour soury smell uh, kind of weird, like soury fruit, fruity smell, but um, I'm sure the fish will love that. I've fished with uh, soured bait many times. They eat it right up. It's kind of surprising how strong the scent is coming from these fruit snacks. I mean, it's just dangling here two feet in front of my face, and it's just strong scent. I'm impressed. Well, here it is. Here's that gummy snack on the hair rig. And here's that uh, soured oats. So we got a super sweet and a sour, sweet and sour. I think if anything gets within 10 feet of that stuff, it's gonna be on. And I'm gonna launch these baits out uh, pretty far today, 50, 60 yards, I think. Oh yeah. Plunk. That's about 50. Shallow. Two, three feet of water out there and it's like october 3rd we're into fall you see the leaves falling landing in the water oh yeah yeah oh my gosh that bait hit the water and there were at least 10 boils there's a bunch of little fish hang out in here today i think dang it all right I'm going to cast the other one way over the, to the left, see if I can, it seems like there's a whole cluster of little fish hanging out here right in front of me. I assume those are little fish, who knows, maybe it's a school of giants. And I'm going to go down here with this left rod, get it way down there. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna be the money spot right there. How do I know? I don't know, I'm just talking. Yeah, it's about 10.15 a.m. It's still pretty chilly, probably in the uh, low 60s I guess the winds blowing although I'm kind of in a protected area so it's not gonna be bothering me too much but uh, high of like 82 today or no 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 78 today 
but the last few weeks the bite hasn't really been getting started until uh, late morning and even early afternoon you know uh, 11 12 something like that but uh, so we'll see might be a slow start that's the way it's been but I'm looking forward to catching a bunch of fish today hopefully some big ones thanks for watching let's check the water temp see what it's at today feels pretty chilly wash my hands I'm betting it's in the 50s not quite right at 60 60.9 so cooling down cooling down well about an hour in here I have had one uh, good bite fish was on for just a minute a little fish but uh, otherwise it's been all quiet I know I'm gonna need some more bait so I might as well just do that now usual mix of uh, oats and sweet feed I'll just go with the peaches I guess dump the whole thing in eee, shit. and uh, yeah watch out for those can lids folks good to have a little mini first aid kit in your bag comes in handy because when you need it you need it and in my kit I've just got a few things just a few things here's a few uh, you know what let me get a band-aid on here first and then I'll show you what's what's in my kit I'm dripping blood here grab one of these little uh, towelettes clean up the blood a little bit I suppose now I'll get a fish or something not a big cut but sure blood like one all right got that on there good and snug so the bleeding stops so yeah obviously I've got some band-aids here a few different sizes oh I'm getting a fish this line just went slack yeah there's something on here swimming with me I'm glad I got my wound covered up here. Man, it's just swimming in with me. Shall I see how long I can swim them in here? Alright, <laughs> All right. that was enough playing around. Time to catch a fish. Guess the uh, first aid kit tour. Uh, I have to wait. <laughs> He's coming in. He's coming in right here. I'm gonna go underneath my other line. Right. Come on in here. Yeah, it's a little colder water here right by the shore, isn't it, a little carpy? Come on in. Gotcha. Yeah, this little guy ate the fruit snack. He's frisky. Hold still, buddy. <laughs> yeah, fruit snack fish. First fish, I don't know, four pounds, something like that. Back in the water he goes. Don't splash me, please. See ya. I got my band-aid all wet. Oh, another one. Another one. Catch up to him. Yep. Oh yeah. This one kind of feels like a little bit better fish, maybe. At least maybe it's got more spunk to him. Okay. That was good timing, you know. Let that fish go. Got the fish slime off my hands and zzz, time for another one. And that is still over here. Gummy fruit snacks getting it done this morning. Oh yeah, jumper. It's a jumper. Got him. There's that fruit snack down in his mouth. See it? Green one. He ate the green one. Oh, this fish is kind of croaking. You gonna croak again? No? Alright. Kind of a carbon copy. Three, four pound fish. Oh, he's croaking again. Do it for the camera. No. Back in the water. Thank you for your participation. Oh, 
Nice dive, I give that a seven. All right, bait making and first aid kit have to wait. I need to get these lines rebated and put back out and untangled. Because I guess they got tangled here. Ugh. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna keep using braid. It can be so frustrating at times. But it has its advantages too. I don't know. If I could pick one, if I had to pick one line to use for the rest of my life, I'd pick mono for sure. Seems like these fruit snacks do uh, melt a little, or dissolve a little bit. Seems like that's shrunk. Like here's, here's a uh, new one, and here's the one that's been using. Seems like it, the, some outer layer of it has uh, kind of come off, and it, it is sticky now. But yeah, I'm gonna put a new one on. Why not? Oh, this is real. This is a real fish. Contrary to a fake fish, this is a real fish. I think this is another fun sized fish. Oh, acrobats. Okay. Yeah, he ate the green one again. There's that green one. There's the hook in his lower lip. Yeah, the fun sized fish keep coming. I'm going to keep his eyes closed. This guy's freaking out a lot. Back in the water. See ya. The bite is coming fast and furious now. I got no lines in the water right now. I'll get this one out and see if I can get all my baits out. And then uh, I gotta go back to making that pack bait. I got interrupted. So unfortunately I'm out of pack bait right now. So I need to get this mixed up here. What do I have in here? Peaches and I guess that's all I got in there to start with. All right, there's the peachy oats, uh, but I can't use it yet. I just made it, so it needs to sit for like 10 minutes. And I only got two rods out right now because I'm out of bait. I don't have any bait to put on the third one, so. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay. bite is on fire. The bite is on fire. Is it the bait that I'm using? Is that why I'm getting so many bites? Nope. I could be using a piece of plastic corn with no scent on it and they'd still be eating it up. But it is fun trying different hook baits just to change things up, you know. Plus if you get in a pinch, you know, you can't for whatever reason you run out of your regular hook bait you know just swing over to the dollar store pick up a pack of fruit snacks you got baits so gotcha yeah i think this is six is this six or five kind of losing count here one of these times it's gonna be a giant, just wait. I hope anyway. See ya. There are big fish in this lake too. And it's just a numbers game. They're mixed in with the they're mixed in with the little fish and they eat the same stuff as the little fish. Okay, here's a here's a tip that I'm learning. Is uh, if your hands are wet, dry off your hands before you start handling these fruit snacks because they just get super slimy and slippery if your hands are wet. <laughs> There's a tip of the day. And this bait hasn't had a chance to marinate long enough yet. It's probably only been five minutes. But uh, I'll just be careful with my casting and uh, try not to fling it off of there. Yeah, it'll be alright. Yeah, yep, yeah, that'll work. I'll just be careful with my cast. So I just checked my phone, it's noon. So you know, the bite started right at 11 o'clock and uh, it's just been pretty much non-stop for the last hour, six fish in the last hour. All right, so finally getting caught up on stuff here. I guess I can give you the first aid kit tour that I started, obviously Band-Aids, a couple different sizes, small one, large ones. 
here's the tweezers you know for getting slivers out and just a, just an overall useful tool there's a couple of pills uh, I think the red ones are ibuprofen and the little bitty green ones are um, like anti-diarrheal pills those come in handy again when you need them you need them <laughs> what else here we got some uh, moist towelette I just used one of those on my finger yeah, there's some more Motrin. A little bit of tape, a little bit of bandage tape, another band-aid. Oh yeah, this is probably one of the best things. Can't say it, but this is Benadryl. You know, itch cream. So when you get bug bites or um, poison ivy or any any kind of itchy stuff from from bugs or plants, this this is the thing I probably reach for the most in the kit. And a little bit of gauze. And a lighter. I don't know. I don't. This isn't really for first aid, but I just like to keep a little lighter. You never know when that can come in handy. You never know when you're going to need a little bit of fire. And this is just a little case that I think this is an old headphone case. That's it. Just some simple little stuff, but it come all this little stuff just comes in super handy. You know, I've had instances where I mean, this little cut on my finger is nothing. I mean, I've had instances where I've like cut my hand like on a sharp rock or something like pretty bad and you know be like uh you know a mile or more away from from the vehicle uh you know at the at the start of the fishing day you know what i mean like if if i didn't have any bandages to put on that thing i probably would have just packed up and went home but i was able you know able to you know put some tape on it put some bandages on it and able to have a fishing trip that day so saved a fishing trip that day i can remember that one for sure but uh I don't know. It's nice to have. If you don't have one, a little kit in your bag, I would strongly consider it. And on that note, if, there's, if I'm missing something in here that you think is a is a necessity, put it in the comment. Let me know. Maybe I'll put it in here. Maybe not. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 I always love it when that happens. Been a little while, probably 15 minutes since I had a bite. Right next to the bank down there. I'm hesitant to go down there because I'm probably going to have to let some slack in the line, lose tension on the line if I start walking towards him. Now he's coming over here now. He's coming over here. Oh, it's a pretty good fish. It's bigger than the last few. That's for sure. Yeah, it's a pretty good fish. Definitely bigger than the, the six uh, little dinkers that I've caught so far today. Gotcha. Yeah, we're heading in the right direction. This fish has got a little bit more heft to him. Yeah, this is a little bit bigger fish. I'd give this one six, seven pounds. A little better fish, getting in, getting bigger, going up in the right direction as far as the size goes. Snacking on some fruit snacks, eh? Back in the water. Tell your grandpa to stop by, will ya? See ya. We have a contender here. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. It's been a little while. I was just about to maybe eat my lunch. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You gotta start making plans to do something else to get a bite. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, fish eight. Eight fish. They just keep on coming. Adios. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one kind of startled me a little bit. It was kind of all nice and quiet, and I was. 
looking at something on my phone and all of a sudden <laughs> kind of startled me a little bit there I've caught a couple of these uh, smaller fish uh, I didn't really turn the camera on because uh, I just didn't want to I keep showing you the same carbon copy fish I can't really tell if this is a same thing or not oh it's a little bit bigger fish I think Got him. Yeah, the bite has slowed down some. Uh, oh, fish is upside down. No, I'm just kidding. I'm holding them this way on purpose because they tend to chill out when you hold them upside down. Here, I'll flip them back around here. It's freaking out. Okay. This is a little better fish. Getting a little bit bigger. I'd say this is a seven pound fish. But yeah, like I said, the bite slowed down a little bit. It's been about a half an hour. Finally had a chance to eat my lunch, so that's nice. I got about an hour left to fish. See if I can get a bigger fish on the bank. Okay, thanks for playing. Yeah, see ya. I think I got a fish on here. Yep. Crazy fish. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I caught several uh, more small fish like this uh, over the last hour or so that I'm probably not going to show you. This is fish number 10. He's got kind of a big belly, so I guess I thought I'd show him to the camera. But yeah, fruit snacks. You know, if you've got some kids that, uh, that you want to take fishing, you know, they might think it's fun to, you know, go catch some carp uh, with some candy that they like to eat, you know. Who knows? Maybe give that a try. That's all the time I have for today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.